Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks ago I did a video on SRS versus MRS system and I got a lot of comments regarding the MRS system and ascenders. So what I thought I would do today is talk about the MRS system with ascenders and perform a little bit on it. Alright, let's get to it. The first thing that a climber should consider when they're going to use an ascender and a rope in their MRS system or any system is the type of rope that they're using. So when I first started using a foot ascender, I used it on my regular climbing rope, which is a huge mistake. Um, this one's a blue streak, and if I use it on this, what the ascender would do to this is um, pop out and rash it up. It, it could really mess your line up pretty easily. Um, after I did that, the next thing I did is went and I bought a static line. This is an X static, and this is a current mantle construction, and it's, it's really a stiff line. It, it doesn't get messed up when you use a foot ascender or a knee ascender. So it, you, it would last a lot longer. The, the, after that, because this is only a single purpose, this is basically just for SRS. The next one that I got is this Adrenaline here, or Adrenaline, not Adrenaline, just Adrenaline. It's a multi-purpose climbing line. So you can use it for the MRS system, you can use it for SRS, and it's really good with an ascender. So it'll last... Um, a long time or longer with using ascenders. So what I have here is a, a regular um, closed system. I'm going to use a couple of carabiners, a micro pulley, and a Michoacan climbing knot. So because I'm kind of big, I like to have my posts a little bit separate. I don't like them in the center all the time. So what I'm going to do is um, connect them a little wide. And the next thing that I'll need to do is to get the ascender. So I'll lift my foot up. And if you if you bend your rope a little and tuck it in, it goes in a little easier. So there you go. Okay, now it's pretty simple. All you got to do is step up. And in each step, it'll take you a little higher. Yeah. I also added a friction saver we're not going high I'm just gonna go up to this branch but you can see how easily you can go up there it goes but it's like a half step you don't get a full full step like you would in the SRS system there you go then I'll go back down And so, there's another thing you have, another option. If you have a pulley, like a hitch climber pulley with the three beckets, or you have a, this ISC double becket pulley, what you can do is um, connect to your, uh, oh, I'll do this one first. Oops. You take the micro pulley off, let's sit up this side, put your double becket on, or a hitch climber either way. Connect it here, and then you'll get this other one. Now, it's important to note that if you have a, an eye and you're going to use this system, it's, it's better. If you have a termination knot, it can um, rub against this and make you run. So, there you go. So you connect that, and then you'll have to go to your center post because it's one pulley now. I mean, one carabiner now. There I go. So let me grab my gloves real quick. Okay. And it's the same situation. All you do is connect, 
I mean, put your glove back on if you want. Some guys don't like those, but I do. Okay, reattach your sender. Okay, and as you go up, your uh, your pulley tends you're not even higher. So it's mainly just my leg that's pulling me up. And I don't really have to um, strain as much. Now once I reach the top, sit back, disconnect my ascender. I'm ready to go. Or I, I could advance. So here we go. So here it is. This is a, a static line and I'm going to um, climb up not near the tree. I'll use a, a knee ascender and a foot ascender and I'm going to use a double eye Beckett pulley. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. I have to connect it to the center post. <sighs> there we go. I get my foot ascender in and then I'm going to just go a couple of steps up, maybe, maybe a few more, so I'm off the ground. There I go. Okay, next thing I want to do is get my knee ascender and clip it in. There we go. Okay, now here I go. So it's it works pretty well, but it's kind of like a half step. So there we go. It helps having a friction saver too. Oops. All right, there we go. There we go. Well, that was the MRS climbing system um, with the knee and foot ascender. Also, we did it in a couple of different ways. We first used a micro pulley with a um, couple of carabiners. Then we moved over to this double Beckett pulley, making it a little bit easier because it tends your line for you. Um, talking about uh, making it easier, also having a friction saver on top makes the, the less friction on top and it's better for the tree. Um, you got to remember to, if you're going to use foot and knee ascenders, to use the proper rope. Having a rope that's meant for it is the best way to go. Also, you want to remember that if it's new to you, you got to practice low and slow. So that was the MRS system using a knee and foot ascender. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more of our content. We upload every Thursday, so stay tuned. Take care.